Plus, every county around the state will soon find out what major projects they will be forced to cut after lawmakers freeze millions. Good afternoon. It's arguably the biggest find in the state capitol, and it will impact every county in New Mexico. The contest over which capital outlay projects to kill. News 13's Michael Hertzenberg is live above the Senate floor with the story. Michael. Jessica, the battle to save money by killing capital improvement projects has been going on for the better part of a year. And virtually the only agreement now that lawmakers and the governor will shoot for $150 million worth of projects to eliminate. Today, Senate Democrats met in private to discuss what projects are on the spreadsheet in question. Few had actually seen it until today. The Legislative Finance Committee and the governor's office have been negotiating which projects get eliminated. We're talking road improvements, buildings, parks, and college facilities. The battle is with every other senator and every representative, and certainly the governor's office, uh, every, not everybody wants their projects cut, but everybody is going to have some cuts in their projects. Those projects be eliminated, put that money into the reserves. We've always kept our reserves high at about 10 uh, percent. Hopefully this will bring them to about 5 or 6 percent if we immediately shift those funds. Late this afternoon, the Senate just introduced the bill that carries the bulk of those cuts, but it's a moving target. We can expect lawmakers from all over the state to be lobbying hard against losing money and improvement projects in their districts. Back to you. Okay, Michael, once it's online, in the next day, we'll link it to our website at krqe.com.